Welcome people to this here unboxing video. So we're gonna take a look at this here case, which is gonna be a little bit of a surprise maybe. Um, actually, we're gonna talk a little bit about it more afterwards we open it up. So, as you can see right here, this here is a Seagate game drive for PlayStation 4. Um, I have, uh, if you've seen some of my latest videos, <coughs> my streaming videos, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy. And I actually, uh, in the last video, told about that I actually upgraded my PlayStation to, uh, to a SSD, which improved... Uh, the loading times on Final Fantasy 15 with about one minute. But it was a spare drive that I have lying around. It's a 500 gig uh, Samsung SSD. Um, the total loading time for the old drive is one minute and 20, 26 seconds for just loading the save game. Um, and with that, I bought this here. So uh, this here is the two terabyte drive. This here is... As I said, uh, internal uh, storage drive for meant for upgrading your PlayStation. You can get this also for Xbox. You can get a one terabyte drive of it. It's around uh, 110 to 120 ish dollars. I think I paid around 115 for this here. The drive here is actually uh, a hybrid drive, so it will not only be physical. It has like some storage in here. But let's take a look at it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is, of course, open it up. See in the back, we have a uh, high performance drive velocity, high capacity internal drive upgraded for your PlayStation console. This here can also be used for your PlayStation 3 if you still have that lying around. Um, and again, it works fine with a PlayStation Pro and, of course, a PlayStation Slim or a PlayStation Fat, which I have. So. You can see it pops out pretty well here. So yeah, we have, that's pretty much, oh, we have a, the spare here, which is emptying it all out. You just gotta be like holding the drive here together and all that, so let's throw that away, we don't need that. Uh, we have a manual here, which is of course crammed in. You can uh, have a QR code here, uh, probably multiple languages. We don't really need that. I don't need that. I've been f messing with hard drives in a long time. So <clears throat> you get this here in an anti-static bag to protect it. And well, you just pull it open just like so. And where is the fine? There is always a small latch somewhere. There it is. See right here. Pull it open. And there you have the drive. Here we have it. Oh, I almost dropped it. That would have been great. Um, a mobile H, uh, H D D drive or a hard disk drive. Uh, and it is this here model and everything in it. So, yeah. That is all there is to this here drive. So, I can actually compare the original drive that was in mine, right here. So, this here is the new drive, this here is the old drive, this here is the 500 gig, this here is a SATA 3.0 gigabyte or gigabits per second drive, this here is a SATA 6, so it has a twice, the, twice the bandwidth of, uh, it can pull from through the drive. It's faster on that terms. It's also, I think, I do not know if this here is actually spinning with more RPMs. It doesn't say, 
but it doesn't really matter because it's a hyperdrive on top of that because it has like um, it has a memory chip that actually caches or flash chip that actually caches all the stuff here and through that uh, it has the hot data which you access a lot lying in cache whereas this one here doesn't have like it has a buffer buffer size which is not that large i think it's 36 max or maybe it's lower i can't remember i think maybe it's, maybe it's 32 i don't know it doesn't really matter it's slow it's fucking annoying so so with this here drive i got one minute and 26 seconds for loading time do not know what this here drive is gonna hold up in loading times i'm excited to actually figure it out uh, 33 seconds, we're around 33 sec 30 seconds for my SSD. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see and comparing these here. So I'm happy that you uh, watched this here video and hopefully you watched it all to the end. Please hit that like button if you did. If you didn't, well, hit the button beside of it. And again, happy new year to all of you and check out the next video that I'm uploading, which we're having all the details of how to dismantle, install and all this here on your PlayStation. And on top of that, um, yeah, hook me up on Twitter and I'll see you next time in the new year. Bye.